Good morning. Boy, it's wonderful to come into a room that has so much high energy in it. Uh, people either looking forward to giving exams next week or looking forward to grading exams next week or looking forward to the term being over. I don't know which one it may be. Uh, it, it is fun to get into a room. There's a lot of energy and people are enjoying each other. Uh, this We have a lot of good things here to be uh, proud of and to be thankful of. And this part of what we're going to do today is celebrate some of the individuals at this college uh, that we think are special to us and that we want to give them the recognition they deserve. And I stopped short to, there to, to have to go back and say, if you remember our last meeting and the things that our faculty and staff are involved in, it's not just the group that we're recognizing today. They have, they're being recognized for special reasons but we have a lot of very talented faculty and staff here that make this college what it is. And I want to thank each one of you for that uh, and what you do to help our students. I have two people I would like to, well, I did have two, I'm down, down to one. <laughs> uh, I had Mr. Uh, Winkler, Bart Winkler, is one of our commission members from and he's here today and want to recognize you, Bart. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and the other person I thought I was going to recognize is Bill Chittister's dad, I, but I think he stepped out again. Uh, always good to have uh, Bill's dad with us. Uh, I'm going to turn the program over to Emily. She's got a few words and maybe a couple of surprises, new, new twists for our program today. Good morning. Good morning. We'll begin the program today with the announcement of the college's uh, Faculty of the Year and Staff of the Year awards. A request for nomination um, occurred during the month of March for the Faculty of the Year Peer Award, Faculty of the Year Student Award, Adjunct Faculty of the Year Award, and Staff of the Year Award. So each presenter today will tell you a little bit more about each award, um, but the process during the month of April has been for the Faculty of the Year and Staff of the Year Selection Committees to uh, meet, review the nominations, go through the rating process, and determine the winners. So the winners were selected by a rating system based on the content of information written on the nomination, not the number of nominations received for an individual. So this portion of the program is very exciting because the names have been kept confidential. Uh, so it should be a surprise to all of you as well as the recipients. Uh, last year's award recipients will be presenting this year's award. So the Faculty of the Year Student Award will be presented by Ivory Wilson. The Faculty of the Year Peer Award will be presented by Bruce Dillenbeck. The Adjunct Faculty of the Year Award will be presented by Rita Melton in the absence of Brenda Johnson. Brenda couldn't be with us today. And the Staff of the Year Award will be presented by Kathy Payne. In addition to just the honor of having one of these titles and the reserved parking space, because all of our winners seem to love that so much, um, we are very happy to announce another prize for this year's winners. A donor to the foundation has given funds to award these four selected recipients. So today, each of these four winners, announced in a few minutes, will receive an award of $500. So, we definitely want to thank this donor and the foundation for that. Following the announcements of the Faculty and Staff of the Year Awards would like to recognize the SCTEA Award winners and the A. Wade Martin nominee, and this will be presented by June West. So we will get started with our first presenter, Ivory Wilson. Um, good morning. How are everyone doing? Yeah. All right, the Faculty of the Year Student Award is awarded to a full-time 
faculty member or librarian who has been employed by the college for at least three consecutive years. All nominations for this award came from student, I mean, current curriculum students who were asked to explain why they felt one of their instructors was worthy of being recognized as faculty of the year. Nominations are based on the following criteria, availability of instructor for assistance, establishment of student rapport, involvement and respect, professionalism, effective use of class time, command of subject matter, evidence of planning and coordination, and provides an engaging learning environment. Uh, one of the students said about this instructor, as someone over the age of 25, I did not grow up with a computer in my home, nor did my previous employer require me to use a computer. However, when I found myself having to return back to school, I knew that I would have to learn how to use the computer. It's a skill that I need for academic success, and it's a skill that I would need when I start my own business. This instructor cared enough to create a section that went at a slower pace. Because of this instructor's ability to explain complicated things on a simple level, I am definitely a lot more computer literate. No matter how crazy my question may seem, this instructor never makes me feel inferior. I seek her out for advising because I know that she will be thorough and patient with me. After one meeting, she had me so motivated that I felt as if I could do anything. She told me not to focus on where I came from because it's where I'm going that counts. Not only did my grade improve in her class, but improve in my other classes too. This instructor is the epitome of professionalism. She commands respect. She gets respect. She wrote a Windows 8 quick reference guide for use by students that are new to learning how to use Windows 8. Not only does she show us how to use computers according to the book, she, follow, she shows us how to use it in the real world for our personal use. This instructor has made a major impact on my life this semester. Since meeting her, I have reevaluated my life's plans, and now I put my education as my top priority. I now believe having the drive and ambition in the first step towards improving. Quality education I'm receiving from this instructor in my computer one-on-one -on -one class is amazing. Thanks to her, I have positive endeavors and strong academic intentions. Also, uh, I have shared some students uh, with this instructor, and uh, some students tell me this instructor is very caring, um, very understanding, and she's very, very knowledgeable. And one of the common things also is that she's very real. Uh, the winner of this award for this year is the Academic Director for Computer Application, Lisa Lopez. to me because as a faculty I'm hired to you know help the students out and teaching a computer class to students at all levels from all walks of life from all majors it is not always an easy easy thing especially at the rate that technology changes so I am shocked I am honored and I think that student for writing that. Will I get a copy of that right up? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thank you very much. 